What up, what up, what up? We're back. We're not back, hold Easter. on. How's it going, guys? We're back here, 608 Garage. Um, we got a 2014 Chevy Cruze LT, 2.4, not 2.4, 1.4 liter turbo. Uh, belt tensioner is bad on it. Um, gonna replace that. Got a little bit done on it, a little bit, and I was like, hey, I should record this. So here I am, Easter, happy Easter, guys. Uh, work on uh, customers' stuff. I'll do a video on the uh, rendezvous here too, probably today too. So we'll get right into it. Hold that. What we got here is the old one. And we got a new one. Here it has the pin, pull it out and everything. And this little piece right here stops it from going over tension. And here, it's all the way through, it pulled itself through, that little clip there broke, so it's over tensioning and causing uh, the water pump and alternator to squeak. So, the bearing's fine, we'll keep it for that, but other than that, we're replacing it. It's basically three bolts, six bolts. Right, shoot it down there goes down there between the, the crank and the alternator. That's where the big bolt goes, you see. All right. New one in. Let's see why. You got the bolt in the way. Got a big ass head. <laughs> yeah. All the better to hit the spot. <laughs> <laughs> We're not editing that part out either. <laughs> ah, footage here. Got the two bolts put in that holds the tensioner on. And there's some kind of special stars, but I noticed that I got to get away with like a. 11 and a 9? Uh, 11 and a 10, five points. Like this, if they're the stars, they won't work. Um, probably should have the right tools, but I don't have it. This is how we're doing it. I got, I broke the bolts off without stripping them, so that means I can put them on, back on without stripping them, so. Seems to be that all of the bolts on this are pretty much star bolts, or I don't know exactly what they're called, but. So you got a total of five bolts, and then you put a jack underneath the motor to, uh, hold the motor up so it doesn't fall too far and uh, so you can get the belt in between here and back around where it's supposed to be. Other than that, that's all you got to do. It's pretty simple shit. I almost got this back in. I got to tighten one more bolt. You put the belt on and be done. The air back box back on which is like one hose clamp and a hose. Every grunt will also give it three more horsepower. <laughs> Come on, don't put me. Oh, 
against me. This one first. This is a fucked up belt belt route routing. The belt should probably never curve like this. <laughs> I bet you if you would have went to that learning center you would have figured it out. before you put that yeah I have to turn that off for a second where's the damn button this thing right here all right we're back I, I needed a couple more hands that was pretty crazy um, <laughs> you should actually take the motor mount off and not try to go around it like I did because it did take like five more minutes and two extra more hands um, but uh show you what I got <laughs> right where it goes up around the tensioner it doesn't clear unless that tensioner is pulled on all like fully you know to where you can get the belt on it because otherwise it doesn't go on it because the, the uh, motor mount is in the way that's why I needed the extra hands to turn off the camera but it's on there tensioned uh, the clips on there is not over tensioning and stretching the belt too far now so see if we fix the squeaking problem is if I think it was just way over tensioning um, so you just gotta throw the air box back on throw a little hose in it right here and uh, Fighting on that one clamp. Give you back to the brother. Oh shit. Got your hose. Hose right here. Oh, make sure we're down in here. Oh, this is fancy. You can see it pretty much wants to line up. Why do they make shit this fancy? It doesn't need to be this fucking fancy. I don't get it. It's a new high quality eco boost, bro. It's high quality garbage. It's not even high quality, it's just garbage. Put this up to a 4, 4 AGE, man. And for a D E will outrun this thing any day, all day, and get better gas molecule. With the same little dumb turbo on it. And make more power to them. Roll the motor ain't no bitch. You gotta see how beautiful it is out here. It's freezing out today, but boy. It is cold, but boy. It's pretty out. Cold. Definitely no 40 degree weather day. No. We wouldn't get that lucky yet. So we got it all back together, guys. We're gonna fire up. See how it runs. See if we fix the squeaking. Issue seems to be fixed. Um, 
holler at me if you have any questions. Sorry that it wasn't like a full tutorial or step-by-step -step type deal. I just need to start whacking out some of this stuff. Um, so again, 2014 Chevy Cruze, belt tensioner replacement and belt. Tensioner was $90 at Napa and belt was $30. It was a Gates belt. Uh, 30, 50 or something like that and some change, 30, 30 bucks and some change and uh, about three hours labor is what we're going to call it. So 90 bucks for me, um, car fixed. See you guys later. Please like and subscribe for the new viewers and for you OG subscribers. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the inspirement and pushing me to, to keep making videos. See you guys later. What up, what up, what up? We're back. We're not back, hold on. Easter.